Interesting. So we have the cap. A lot of foam. Wow. It really makes me wonder. Before we get started, let me just show you what I have here. This is our existing water filter that we use. As you can see, it still have, has water in it. This is just a Camco standard blue inline water filter. <clears throat> We've used this for ever, since ever, since now, until now. This one, although we say this is a uh, paid promotion, this was sent to us by Clear 2.0. Um, we're not gonna use it, and we'll show you why in a moment. Um, however, we did buy this with our own money um, and we'll explain what this is in a moment as well. So first of all, Natalie, I want to ask you, do you know what a micron is? No. Do you have any idea what a micron is? <laughs> is it some gadget you've bought? <laughs> no, but that's a cool name. Um, right, so a micron is a unit of measurement. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. so, but it's very, very small. So. Unfortunately, for our American friends, it is a metric measurement. So, as in it's centimeters based off centimeters. So okay. one centimeter, I have the measurement here. Okay. Right, one centimeter yeah. is here. Yeah. You can see how that is in relation to one inch. Yes. Okay, because we're in America. So one inch, one centimeter is one centimeter. Okay. One centimeter is 10 millimeters. Yes. Okay. A micron, another name for micron, I had to look at my notes here, <laughs> is a micrometer. I didn't know that. Okay. So anyway, a micron is ten thousands, sorry, ten thousand, there are ten thousand microns in a centimeter. Okay. So this is a centimetre, so there is 10,000 measurements within this one centimetre. So it's very, very, very small. I didn't realise I'd be getting a maths lesson today. That's it. That's my entire okay. maths lesson. Okay. <laughs> so just remember, one micron is very, very small. Okay. Okay. Ten thousandth of a millimetre. Centimetre. Centimetre. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Not sure what for, but I got it. Okay. So the blue one, this filters out things that are 20 microns okay still really small right yeah tiny 20 microns clear to o filters things that are one micron okay okay so i have some notes here i'm going to give you a little test we can play along in the comments it's okay embarrassing. how many microns do you think a grain of sand is an average grain of sand obviously there are many things so actually 10, this is a fine grain of sand a grain of sand is not uh, one centimetre. Uh, okay. One hundred thousand. No, it's the other... Oh. It's the other way. It's the other way. <laughs> Ten. It's 125 microns. Oh, I was close. Okay. 125. Right, well, okay, I see where this game is going. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, which is good, because this filters out 20. Yep. This filters out one. So both of these will catch it. Okay, okay, yeah. They'll both filter sand. A dust mite. 195. <laughs> no, the other way. <laughs> yeah, okay, 195. 100. Damn it. Slightly the smaller than a grain of sand. Okay, right. Okay, a human hair. This surprised me. How long is the hair? Well, it's not the length, it's the width, isn't it? Oh, okay. It? But this is, obviously, this is weird, because for hair, you, everyone has different thickness of hair, right? So it depends where it is. So this is an average human hair. Okay. How many microns thick is that? 250. 50. Oh. I would have quite... said 250 as well. Okay. I thought they were much thicker, but yeah. I guess not. They're not thicker than a grain of sand, so yeah, yeah. it wouldn't. Okay, aluminum or aluminium. aluminium. What, how, how much aluminium? A particle. Particle of aluminium. Well, I don't I don't know how big that is compared to sand, so I'm going to go Well, can you see again. sand? Yes. Have you ever seen a particle of aluminium? No. So it's very very small. Yes. Two. It's 25. Ah! So both of these closer. will filter those out. Okay. Again. Okay. Fertilizer. 
like horse manure. There's lots of different fertilisers, but I'm, I'm saying fertiliser because this could get into the water system. Oh, OK. Um, 25. It's 10. Ah, so man, that one, was good. That was, that was close. Okay. This would not filter out fertiliser if it was in your water. Hmm. OK, pollen. Oh. It's difficult. We can all see pollen, but yeah. would you be able to see one pollen? 92. <laughs> 10 as well. Oh, OK. You're crap at this, but yeah. let's keep going. OK, I've only got a few more. So. Okay. Red blood cell, something I wouldn't want to drink. Is that quite big? Mm, not really. Have uh, you ever seen a blood cell? No. no. I've seen it in house. Ten. House MD, you see it go through the veins. Five. Ah, oh, come on. I get... Again, the blue one would not filter that out. Okay, a sperm. Or the head of the sperm. Eight. Five. Oh, oh, you're, getting oh you're getting good at this. I wasn't going to go through all of them, but I want to see if you get one. Okay, a cement Thanks. dust. Oh. Okay, well, that's as big as sand, right? So now we're... No? Okay, so we're, we're still down there. Think how fine cement is. Oh. Fifteen? It's five. Oh. Uh, it's three, sorry. Oh, three. we're going down in numbers now. Okay, I'm getting this. Uh, yeah, we are, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mould. That's something else you don't want in your Two! Water. Three! Oh, oh come on, you can do this. We've got two more. Okay. Lead dust. Two. Two, you got yes. it! Yes! <laughs> okay, and the last one I had uh, was Giardia, which we know about, yeah, because Roxy dogs. had that when she was a puppy, mm -hmm. real bad, and Cryptosporidium. I don't know what that is. We will, shall research that, but they are also two microns. So, okay. the point is, there is a lot of stuff here that I'm surprised this doesn't filter out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, Especially um, when it comes to blood and semen and stuff. Not that I yeah. hope that's in my water, but... Uh. Well, this is the thing. <laughs> These are the things that could be in your water okay. from somewhere. So, uh, anyway, so I'm very surprised about that. So that only filters out the 20 microns. This filters out one micron. Okay. Right. I just explain this and then I'm going to cut these open. So thank you Clear TI for sending us this uh, for free. Uh, I'm going to smash it up. <laughs> so the reason why is because there's some stuff in here that I want to show you about why they're different and why I'm pretty impressed with Clear 2 Okay. Um, okay, but the other thing is I bought this myself with my own money. This is a 20 micron filter. Let me just, I'll show you what, let me just take this out. Some attachment things. Okay. This is cool because even though this filters the same as this, this is washable. Is this a is this for the RV or house? Yep. No, this is for the RV. Oh. So what do you do? Do they make ones for house? Let's say that's the faucet or the spigot. Okay. Yeah. Goes on here. Oh. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. I got you. Okay. This screws in there. Oh, uh, right, okay, cool. And they have made this that it will work with any filters, so in theory, you can plug, you can have a 20 micron with another 20 micron. Okay. So the reason why this is cool and why I bought this is because I can have a one micron filtered into here, but even though it's one micron, it will filter everything above that. And so if you have sand in your water, it's all gonna clog up this filter. So the best thing to do is to buy one of these, this is the filter, and it is washable. Okay, I got So Reusable. This is reusable. So you can filter out all the sand and all the nasty stuff through this first before it goes through to the one micron, um, and this is uh, reusable. So Makes sense. That is fantastic because we can wash this out with this. You don't even know when it's dirty. You just have to replace it. Yeah. So It's a waste. Anyway. Wasteful. Right. Well, there's the lecture for today. Thank it's you for fun. watching. Now we're going to go cut some stuff up and see what's inside these filters. Right, now the fun bit, probably stupid bit as well, is I'm going to cut these open because I want to see what they look like inside because there's one main difference that I want to show you. So... Interesting. So we have the cap, a lot of foam, wow. Let's cut the other one then let's take a look. Wow. 
Wow. Well, that's easy. Now, I'm not sure if you can see that, but this one is one solid block of carbon. As you can see, so the water will go in through here. It will push all the way through. Uh, there's no other way it can go. It has to go through the carbon. Um, that's crazy. I can't even believe water can get through that. That's uh, unbelievable. And then this one is just, I mean, you can actually, I don't know if you can see the light here. We'll try and get a better picture, but it's actually full of, uh, it's just grains. It's just like sand. It's like carbon. So it's, uh, yeah, that's strange. So it does have to go through this, but this is more of a traditional way of doing it. Um, uh, obviously with this, uh, it, the water can get through and things can get through this much easier uh, than anywhere else. I want to pour this out because I want to see how far this goes. I can actually see stuff it's caught as well. This isn't even my cuttings from here. This is stuff that we've used. So that's very interesting. Right, let me go pour this out somewhere. All right, let's pour this stuff out. And this was still wet, which is why it's hard to get out. Well, that's literally it with a bit of foam at the other end. That's all it is, which is interesting because if this was laid down, we've always had it this way up. But if this was laid down, I worry that there wasn't enough in here to actually do it. So the water would go over the top. Uh, so that's interesting, whereas this, I can tell the difference of what you're paying for. This is, uh, looks like a way better solution. There is no place that the water could go from here. So, yeah. So anyway, that concludes everything we have here. So I am much happier buying this. This is a bit more expensive. Uh, we can leave, leave some links down below. Also for the 20 micron attachment for this. Um, but yeah, I would be much happier to do this. I can't believe we've even been using the water with this. After finding out what is less, what can get through in less than 20 microns, I would much prefer to go for the one micron. Anyway, we hope you found this really interesting. We certainly did reading up on this. Thank you to the Clear2O guys for sending me one that I can cut up. Um, we will see you next week. Mm -hmm.